Welcome back. It's time for your business update. 150 million US dollars, or about 196 million Sing dollars, will go towards developing a new hydrogen ready gas turbine on Singapore's Jurong Island. The electricity generated will support facilities on the island and Singapore's grid. It's part of six new deals to enhance the island's RD capabilities, boost talent development, and infrastructure. That's as the government looks to advance Singapore leadership in low-carbon innovation and new energies. Claudia Lim with more. As Jurong Island marks its 25th anniversary, the focus is on developing next steps for the integrated energy and chemicals park. Apart from the island's infrastructure and ecosystem, the focus is on areas such as specialty chemicals and sustainable materials. For example, energy and chemicals provider Esther's investment in a hydrogen-ready gas turbine will generate and utilize low-carbon electricity. The uh, extra energy that we will be generating from the uh, gas turbine integration unit will capture uh, extra waste heat from our refinery and cracker and with that we are able to actually reduce emissions and also generate extra clean energy that is lower carbon intensity to be able to supply to the Singapore grid, thus uh, further uh, strengthening the grid stability and energy security for Singapore. The six deals in will see deeper collaboration between companies, academia and solution providers. These include launching an accelerator to help startups pilot clean energy solutions and developing talent for emerging industries. A deal also sees the test bedding of next generation cooling technologies at Singapore's largest data centre park. We will be working very closely with agency and industry partners to basically the test bed and the risk of such a solutions. And what we want to do is really to fast track the adoptions right by the data center industry, not just in Singapore but across Southeast Asia, right? Pretty much actually location that experience the same hot and humid the climatic conditions. Deputy Prime Minister Gan Kim Yong says these efforts will create a comprehensive ecosystem at Jurong Island where ideas can be tested, refined and scaled. The global energy and chemicals industry, once built around scale and cost efficiency, is being reshaped. By new technologies, the pressure to decarbonize and rising demand for high quality and greener products. Jurong Island must therefore reinvent itself to stay competitive and relevant. He adds that ultimately the hope is for the island to be a beacon of innovation for the future.